Hey, this is Tim with BPAW's Point of Sale for tobacco stores. In this video, we're gonna cover features that BPAW's has to manage customer loyalty and rewards for your tobacco store. So many tobacco stores are looking for ways to reward their customer with loyalty plans in order to help build your business. Now, it's important to note that if you'll do the studies and do a little bit of research, you're gonna find that loyalty plans actually build loyalty. We get some customers who talk to us that are suspicious that it's going to actually help. But when properly implemented, they will help you build and increase your business. They will definitely contribute to the bottom line. This is not just free stuff you're giving away or giving away money, you're actually increasing your business more than the stuff you give away. It will work every time. So. BPAS has many different ways to implement loyalty, and it seems like everybody has a little bit different take on how loyalty works. So it's important to note that BPAS could handle almost anything that you could throw at us. We could do loyalty based on points. So every dollar you spend, for instance, as an example, is a point that you earn. And then you redeem those points at some value. Now, always important to understand that when you're talking about loyalty, what it really turns out to is some kind of discount. Now you control how much that discount is, right? And it could be an unearned discount because your customers may never redeem the loyalty, right? But it is does turn out to be a discount. So if I issue you a dollar per point and you spend a hundred dollars, and then I can redeem those points and they have $5 in value, that turns out to be a 5% discount. It is important to understand that when you redeem points or you have a loyalty plan, that it is equivalent to a discount. If I issue you a point for every dollar and you spend $100, so you have 100 points, and when you redeem those points, those points are worth $5, that's effectively a 5% discount. Now, with every loyalty plan that we could offer you, you can play with what that percentage discount is. It could be half a percent, it could be 1%, it could be 20%. It could be whatever you like. Nobody's gonna give away 20%, but it's possible. So every plan equates to a discount, okay? Whatever it is. So I've given you something for the fact that you're buying from my store over and over again. Now, I gave Every example would be only examples of numbers. So I said $100 and you got $5. You might require them to spend $500 before they get it. And it could be $5 for $500, which is a 1% discount. The numbers are always adjustable, but the plan at the end of the day is to try to incentivize your customers to come back over and over again. Now, I could also just say, hey, when you spend $500, we're gonna give you something and it could be different depending on your state because of your applicable laws in your state. So some laws in some states won't allow certain ways of doing this. And it's important to note that, but BPAS can help you navigate that. So you could also give them something. So for instance, let's say it's buy 10 cartons get one free, which essentially would be a 10% discount, or buy 20 cartons and get one free, or buy 50 cartons and get one free. Uh, it could be some variation of that, and it could be mix and match of different kinds of cartons. It could be, hey, if you spend $500, we'll give you a gift certificate for 10% off. Now, all of these different methods are possible, but I could also apply to that tiers, and tiers are basically exponentially increase the power of your loyalty. So I could now have a bronze, silver, and gold level. Let's say bronze level is anybody, when they first sign up for loyalty, they're a bronze member. They get to silver when they've spent $1,000, and they get to gold when they've spent $5,000. Whatever level you set it at, it doesn't really matter to us, we're just gonna help you implement your system. But at every different level, you could then adjust what the reward is. Again, you're playing with a percentage discount, so you're effectively increasing the discount or the reward over time as they spend more with you. That's possible, but that's very powerful because when people know that if they now spend $2,000 or $5,000 to become a gold level, that they're gonna get a better discount, they're gonna be more incentivized to continue to spend at your store so that they can reach that level. 
and that is a super powerful add-on to your loyalty program. Now, there are many more options than we can certainly talk about in this, but I'll talk about one more. It is also possible to have special promotions for your loyalty members. So I could do the rewards or the points and all those, but you could also do this where basically we have special discounts for loyalty members. You're probably used to this at your local grocery store. Once you sign up for the loyalty plan, then certain items are on discount and only if you're a loyalty member. But you could do that in this case and say only if you're a gold loyalty member. So you spent $2,000 with us or whatever the number is and automatically now you're going to get an extra 1% off of, to, of your cigars or cigarettes or whatever it is that you're purchasing. And you can define which products they get discounts on. And it, it really, it's up to you to think of how best can I use this to help generate the business and what are margins that make sense for your business? What are the discounts that make sense? And then BPOS will help you implement those. Now, it's important also to note that one of the backside advantages of this is that typically with these kind of plans, we're going to request to get either their cell phone number or an email, and now we can do marketing on the backside to them. So not only am I using this to help incentivize them to keep coming to my store, now I can do promotions that are specially targeted to them, or I might have a bounce back coupon. Let's say you want your average customer, or your average customer comes into your store every 90 days. So when it gets to 100 days, we want to automatically send a bounce back coupon to those customers and say, hey, we haven't seen you for a while. Here's a coupon for a dollar off your next carton of cigarettes to get them back in the door, right? And so now I've gone and found a way to get those customers back. And those kind of incentives could be set up in a set it and forget it method. So now we set up that dollar off coupon off of cartons of cigarettes if you haven't been here in 100 days or whatever the number of days that you want to do, and it automatically applies. So if you're a customer loyalty member and you don't come into the store for 100 days, it'll automatically send you the email or a text message and say, hey, here's a coupon. And, and really, it's not here's a coupon. You don't have to bring anything in. You don't have to print the email or show your text message. What it really will do is say, that dollar off will apply automatically at the register the next time you come in. And so when that customer comes in and buys a carton of cigarettes, it'll automatically pop up for the cashier and say, hey, this customer's got a voucher for a dollar off this carton of cigarettes. Would you like to apply it? And if you say yes, it takes the dollar off, their voucher's gone, and they never get a dollar off again unless they don't come for another 100 days. So lots of different ways to do this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's way more ways that you could use loyalty to help generate additional revenue and business for your tobacco store. If you'd like to talk to us about how we can help you build your business, we'd love to talk. You can call us at the number on the top of your screen or click the link below.